Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose Cortez. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of uh, the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. Where we honor God, mm -hmm. we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. We should do this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's people out there, wherever you go, you know. They may not come into your church building, but everywhere you go is your mission. Yes. There's people everywhere going through the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. <laughs> so everywhere you go, work, uh, stores, wherever you happen to go, you are there. You're a, you're a soldier of God. You're a messenger of God. You're a minister of reconciliation, bringing the good news to a lost world. Amen. Good news. You know why? Because we're bombarded with negative stuff all the time on a daily basis. And I'm getting a little ahead of myself, so I'm just going to hold myself right there. <laughs> so anyway, we want to welcome all our NBC family and visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Yes. So praise God and prepare yourselves to receive whatever God is for you. Amen. You know, he never leaves you empty unless you just stay close. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said he's knocking, but a lot of us won't even open. We need to open up. He knows what's best for us. Amen. He knows what's best for us. And he wants to bless you. But we're not opening up. We need to open up every time. Lord, here I am. Change me. Make me what I need to be. Amen. He knows best. And he knows how to deal with all that stuff that you stay holding on to. You got to cast it on him. Give it to him. How is he going to send you on a mission if you got all these worries about yourself? All these anxieties. All these other things coming against you. You got to let them go. And press on with the things of God. Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. But uh, grab your sword. <laughs> grab your sword. Sword. Soldier of God. And uh, let's make this declaration together. And say it like you mean it. Amen. Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I've never been saying in Jesus' name. And where is the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind. Mine. Amen. And you're thinking all kinds of things. You're probably thinking right now, I wish you'd be quiet. <laughs> I wish it was over. <laughs> no. You know, the battlefield is going on all the time. And you think oh, good God. things, negative things, old things, new things. I mean, you're going 100 miles an hour. So you oh. just got to renew your mind and just hold yourself. Amen. And let the Lord share with you what He wants you to do. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Today we're going to be talking about well, He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct us. You yes. know what the Father does to a child? He wants to correct. Amen. And train and teach. And we're to mature in those things. Amen. So praise God. Our message today is going to be like this. And I know this is not about you, but uh, it's about me. <laughs> Troubles come. Amen. We've been talking about this, you know. Troubles will come. Amen. Mm -hmm. Troubles come. Oh, they do. And we had a thank you, praise team, because we, men, all them songs were great. Leaning on Him, we got to lean on Him on a daily basis. If you're not leaning on Him, you're leaning on something else. Mm. <laughs> and don't be the world, don't be drugs or booze or anything other, 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 uh, like that. Amen. But lean on Him. Amen. Amen. He says He is the gap between us and the world. Yes, amen. amen. He came. There was a big gap, but Jesus came and filled that gap. Amen. Yes, yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank praise God. And uh, how great thou art. Man, he is so great. If you don't know this, we need to pray for you because you need to say it. If you don't know how great Jesus is, God sent his only son to die for our sins. Jesus agreed and came and he died for our sins. That is great. Greatness. Amen. We can have life. We can have e um, eternal life. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you. We can have salvation. And there's always victory in Jesus. We're talking about troubles come. But well, guess what? We can have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Yes. Not just once in a while, you know, but when you used to have, the devil used to have us on the run. If he still got you on the run, you need to stop. Oh, and you need to amen. do this. You need to take authority. Yes. Say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me turn this around. Let me confess what the Word of God says. 
Amen. That's what happens when you start maturing in the things of God. You start confessing the word. Uh -huh. Speaking the word. Yes. Amen. And when you start speaking the word, the devil's going to hear. <laughs> and he's going to turn around and say, wow, this person is mature. And he's going to want to run away and say, submit yourself to God. Resist him. Take yes. authority. And he will flee Free. from you. He will run yes, from you. Will. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. That's not what we're talking about, but uh, it's all right. It's good. Yeah. I like to say this, the Lord's not finished with you. He's got greater things for you. So don't put yourself down, include yourself, involve yourself. Get excited about God using me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know, because the world's gonna say, you're no good, you're not qualified. Man, they say all kinds of negative things about you that you cannot do. But the Bible immediately tells us, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yeah. And he's going to strengthen you on a daily basis, on every day. The more you mature in the things of God, you're stepping out in faith and not fear. Because if you're not in faith, you're in fear. Right. And fear is going to keep you down and stay down. You know, when you fall, you got a choice. You stay down in fear or you're going to get up and say, man, I gotta, I'm going to get up and I'm going to press on. Amen. Amen. When you start letting the word just come alive in you. Amen. You're going to get up and you're going to press on. So or make yourself available. The Bible says you can do all things through him. Amen. The greater one is in you. Man, yes. on a daily basis, just think wherever you go, he's with you. So quit trying to hide. <laughs> he already knows. So just let it go. Greater is he that's in you than either the world. I'm a winner. You need to practice this on a daily basis. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. I can do all things through Christ. We need, uh, Wednesday was a great Bible lesson. And it's talking about the power of your words. Amen. The Bible, well, that's going to be one of our scriptures. It's Proverbs 18, 21. But we're going to read verse 20 and 21. And there's power in your words. There's power in the tongue. But what do you do with the tongue? The tongue you confess words. You speak words. Amen. So that's all I'm going to tell you until we get there. <laughs> Troubles come. The troubles or the storms of life will come. We gotta remember, we've been saying this forever. Let go and let God. Amen. Not only that, start confessing what the word of God says. Troubles will come to all believers yes. and non-believers. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, family problems, health problems, marital problems, mm -hmm. financial problems, addiction problems. We've all been through these troubles. Some of us are still camped out. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's time to oh get your tent, your sleeping bag's all packed up, and, and it's time to press on. All right. Amen. We don't want to press on. We don't. We don't want to stay there. That's it. You know, if you still have them, it's because you haven't given it to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you got to give it to him. He knows how to deal with it. Yes. You say, okay, I've got it. Mm -hmm. Now you press on. That's it. Man, the, the, that scripture says, press on. Now it's time to go on. Mm -hmm. So why are you still holding on? You know. Remember, don't be a prisoner of your past. That's it. Because it'll hold you. People will hold you. People will remind you. The enemy is going to try to oh, yeah. just distract you and keep you down all the time. It's time you let go of all that weight, yeah. all that junk. We're going to talk more about that in a few minutes. You can start opening your Bible to so John 6, uh, 16, 33. And we're going to be reading that. John chapter 16, verse 33. Okay. Huh. The fact that we are saved doesn't mean the trouble will never come our way. Amen. We just got to know what the Word of God says so that we can speak the Word yep. over the situation. Amen. So, let's see what John mm. and those of you watching, those of you listening, we do uh, preach from the Word of God, so we use the Word of God. So, yeah. amen. There's no other way. 1633 I've got it wrote down here but I want you to follow along with your uh, translation whatever translation you have I got the new King James here it says these things I have spoken to you that in me and it's capitalized in me you may have peace Amen. in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> let me give you a just a few uh, a translation of a uh, tribulation okay mm -hmm. some of us i never go around talking about tribulation but i talk about troubles huh. tribulations is troubles uh -huh. misfortunes trials sufferings pains distress mm -hmm. difficulties 
Now I understand all that, and we understand that. Mm. I just want to explain it to you real good. <laughs> Make sure you get it, amen. All right. Because Jesus says, "In this world you will have tribulations, yes, believer mm -hmm. and non-believers." Yes. It rains on the believers, yes, it and it will rain on the mm -hmm. non-believers, amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So praise God. But tribulation, you'll have tribulations, but be of good cheer. Yes. You know what He's always telling us. The joy of the Lord is his strength. Yes. Amen. Joy is good medicine. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he tells us right here, be of good cheer. Uh -huh. be joy, be, be. And he tells us in, in, uh, in what is it, Psalms uh, 118, 20, 24. 24 this, is this is the day the Lord has made. He says, be sad no, and be mad. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says, rejoice and be glad in it. So why are you still holding on, you know, being so sad about it, you know? Is it something you're going to do that you can't do? Or is it just going to give it to him and be cheerful about it? Get yeah. rid of it, you know? All of a sudden, you know, when when you, when you bless a child, you know, you give them a, a cookie or a candy or, or a gift or something. Man, just lights them up. But that's what he wants to do with you. He's our Heavenly Father. We're his children. And he wants to do these things. But you got to get rid of the bad stuff. Yeah. You know, get rid of it. Things that's not blessing you. Yeah. Uh, we're not going. When troubles come, realize your source. What's my source? Well, here's my source. One of my sources is the Word of God, Jesus. He's my source. He's my foundation. Amen. Yeah. Remember, Bible, basic instruction before leaving earth. Mm. Amen. We need to get the Bible, the Word of God, in us. The Word of God is the truth, and the truth is going to set, set you free. free. Amen. You've been a prisoner all this time because you could set yourself free but yeah. you're still not wanting to do what you right. need to do yeah. we need to do our part he's done his part he sent his son yeah sacrifice his son the son did his part now it's up to us the problem is not there in him mm -hmm. the problem is we need to get lined yes. up with him amen. amen come on now hey say amen or oh me mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the easy to read version says this John 16 uh, verse 33 I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me this yeah. is Jesus speaking mm -hmm. in this world you will have troubles but be brave I have defeated the world mm -hmm. he's defeated the enemy amen Satan is a defeated foe yes. and you're afraid of a defeated foe mm -hmm. if you're going to fight somebody and he's already defeated why has he got you on the run mm -hmm. something wrong with this <laughs> yeah know what the word of god says and start speaking the word right. and start living the word yes, amen. amen and start doing the word amen, amen. Woo, hallelujah yeah. let's go to second corinthians and i want you to mark your bibles now personalize your bible go to second corinthians is right after first corinthians <laughs> amen i'm going to read it i'm going to read you what i got but it's uh second corinthians chapter four verses eight and nine Chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. Are you there? It says, we have troubles all around us. Amen. We have trouble all around us, but we are not defeated. Yeah. We often don't know what to do, but we don't give up. That's it. We don't give up. In verse 9 says, we are persecuted, but God does not leave us. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. Right. Amen. Yeah. So, 8... In, uh, uh, verse chapter, chapter 4 verse 8 and 9 in the King James it says we are trouble on every side we have trouble on every side mm -hmm. yet not distressed we are perplexed but we're not despaired in verse 9 it says persecuted but not forsaken uh, cast down not destroyed right. amen. amen so let's remember this we, we have Everywhere we go, there's all kinds of stuff all around us. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And he's telling us, amen. It says, troubles, storms, tribulations always get our attention. Realize your source, your foundation is Jesus. Not the world, not booze, and not drugs, amen. and not anything else. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says in John 4, 6, 14, 6, says what? It says, Jesus says, I am the way, the, way, the, truth, and the, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. He could have said, I am the only way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the only truth, and the only way to the Father. There's no other way. 
Yes, yes. You can have all the money in the world and you can't buy your way to heaven. Yes. You can have whatever you got. It ain't going to buy your way to heaven. If you don't have Jesus in your heart, those of you watching, those of you listening, if you don't have Jesus in your heart, if you haven't accepted Jesus, you don't take it. Ain't no way going up. I can guarantee you going down. <laughs> I don't want to go down. I don't want to find out too late. Yeah. Amen. And every day is not guaranteed. That's it. So you need to decide right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. He already knows this. I've sinned against you, but you got to confess it with your yes. mouth. Yes. You got to confess it. You got to speak it out with your mouth, not with somebody else. Absolutely. Say, speak it with your mouth. Say, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. He's not going to turn you down. That's He's going to come. And you know what? Things are going to start changing when you start getting this word in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you start seeing things the way he sees them. No matter. Put my Jesus glasses on. You start seeing things <laughs> the way Jesus sees them. With his love and his compassion. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo -ha. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I'm Joe Cool. <laughs> <laughs> You start seeing things the way he sees them. Yeah. And you start living his way and not yeah. my way. You know, once yeah. in a while we, <laughs> we we put ourselves on the throne and don't know when to get up. Right, right. We should oh, always yeah. keep him on the throne. Yeah. That's priority first is mm -hmm. keep him on the throne. Uh -huh. Seek him first. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, you still that pastor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we often depend on self. Our skills, our abilities, our family, our friends, money, booze, drugs, yeah. and the world. Yeah. All is well when everything is going smooth and easy. You know, things are going to look smooth and easy and nice. You know, we'll get real comfy. Hey, I accepted Christ and everything's going real smooth. And guess what? Uh -oh. We stop fellowshipping with Him. We stop reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it's got all kinds of dust on it. We haven't opened it in a while. Yeah. The next thing you know is you keep hearing things, you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, and the world is going to come in. And yes. you're going to start confessing the wrong things. That's what we're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. You start confessing the wrong things, speaking the wrong things, mm -hmm. and the enemy goes around as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. What's he listening for? He's listening to the negative stuff. And mm -hmm. you're going to open the door, and he's just going to slide in, no and he's going to. So once he gets in, he's going to drive you. <laughs> uh -huh. He's going to drive you until you stop him. Yeah. Amen. If you don't stop him, he's just going to keep on doing it. So it's time to stop that. We forget about Jesus. Remember the prodigal son? Yeah. Hey, Dad, you did a good job up to now, you know, so give me what's mine. I'm uh -huh. And he books, you know, he takes off uh -huh. until he just slams into a wall, you know. So yes. He slams into the world, and the world has him, you know, and he's in bad shape. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we do and I've said it many times too is we use him as a spare tire mm -hmm. you know hey my car is great but you know what I've got a spare tire but I don't need it you know unless something happens to my tire once in a while we may need a spare tire uh -huh. but once in a while we may need Jesus you know yeah. once in a while when I get in trouble you know once in a while when things are not going well I'll remember about Jesus and bring him up and I say oh yeah that's right there's a Jesus, you know. We go to all kinds of things before we turn to Him. Right. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Only is needed. I visit Him on Sundays. Uh oh. I go and visit on Sundays. You know, He don't want He don't want no part time uh, kids. You know, He wants full time kids. Full custody. Full custody. Thank you. <laughs> I only uh, in case of emergencies. Hey, I know where to go. And we got him locked up, you know, and say, I'll, I'll call on you when I need you. Otherwise, just stay away. <laughs> Don't bother me. Deliver me. Dig me out of this one. I'll change. How many times do you heard people say that? Oh, oh man, I'm going to change this time. I promise. I promise. I promise. How many excuses? He knows all. He's heard them all. Amen. Oh, yeah. How many times we've said that? We are powerless without him. We're no match to the devil. How many times have you heard this? part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Right. And I'm guaranteeing you, if he ain't confessing the right things, if you're not confessing the word, he ain't gonna back off. He's gonna stay there until you start confessing the word. Amen? So let's remember that. You're no match to the daily storms, the daily troubles of life without him. 
Amen. We can do all things through Him. Without Him, we can't do it. Amen. We're going to fall. If you want to fall, that's a good way. Realize God is our power, our source of power. Have an attitude of gratitude and dependency on Him. Trouble storms hopefully will drive us to God and not away from Him. Amen. I'm, I'm guarantee you. Uh, I've heard so many, so many. You know, hey, we let God down, we let our guard down, and the enemy will come in right away. Yes. And then he'll come in, and I'm going back. You're doing the things I used to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do those things. Well, you need to strengthen yourself in the Word of God. Confess the Word. Visit with Him more. Amen. Amen. Abandon ship. Hey, we practice a lot of that in Navy. <laughs> 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 Abandon ship says unload, cast all excuses, all baggage, and including all excuses, because he cares for us. Yeah. yeah. And of course, we we know uh, we know uh, First Peter five seven is to cast all things on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, get rid of uh, get rid of devil distractions, anyone or anything. He uses. And right. he's, and yeah. If you're not a born again believer, or if you're a born again believer and, and you're not confessing the word and you're just walking away from God, mm. he's going to use e anyone to try to distract you and put pull you off course. Mm -hmm. Amen. You may be on course, but the enemy on a daily basis is going to send distractions your way. Mm -hmm. Submit to God, resist the enemy. James 4, 7 says, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he's going to flee from you. We, we, need to, we need to remember this. Submit to God. Resist the devil. That means take authority. That means to take authority. You got you have to do something. God, you do it for me. Brother, do it for me. Sister, do it for me. No, you. You submit yourself to God. You resist him, and he's going to flee from you. First Peter 5, 7, uh, 8 through 9 says, and contemporary English version says, Be on guard and stay awake. Your enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion, mm. uh, sneaking around to find someone yeah. to attack. Yeah. How he knows who to attack? Uh -huh. Because you're confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 9 says this, But you must resist the devil and stay strong in your faith. Right. You can't stay strong in your faith if you're not confessing the word of God. If you're not reading the word of God. If you're not fellowshipping with him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to stay strong. What do you feed your spirit, man? The word of God. What do you do with your mind, your will, and your emotions? You renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And your flesh, the flesh just wants to be comfy. The mm -hmm. flesh wants it easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it oh, wants yeah. to rest. Yeah. Says the flesh, you have to crucified hmm? amen hmm. come on now <laughs> be strong in your faith we got to stay strong mm -hmm. you got to feed what do you feed your spirit mm -hmm. the word the word what do you feed your mind the word mm -hmm. what do you feed your body well um uh, some good physical food <laughs> you know that all over the world the lord's followers are suffering just as you are so this is happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay strong in him. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. I don't care <laughs> if you're in little bitty Martha. You can be in El Paso. You can be in Dallas. You can be in these big cities. But guess what? The enemy's busier. He's busy all over the place. He's busy yeah. everywhere mm -hmm. you go. That's why part-time believer mm -hmm. is no match to a full-time devil. Right. Right. Anyway, he's, going to, he's in hell and he wants to bring as many as he can with him mm -hmm. to him. And you're cooperating with him. Hmm. Don't cooperate with him no more. Amen. That's it. First Peter 5, 7 says, cast all cares upon him because he cares about you. Mm -hmm. So before you start your day, meet with him, worship him, yes. praise him, and cast in whatever you got mm. that's worrying you. He knows how to deal with it, you don't. Yeah. Say, Lord, you got to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then it's time to press on. Mm -hmm. The giants are waiting for you. Storms are waiting for you. You just got to step out. Now it's, I'm prepared. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got my suit on. I got my full armor on. Uh -huh. So devils, 
here I come, amen. amen. And they're going to be waiting on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Philippians 4 6, New Living Translation says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Uh -huh. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Yes. Sounds easy, but you know, we get distracted and we let our guard down. And next thing you know, is we're not doing these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I used to pray in the mornings. Now I pray at noon. Well, now I pray in the evenings. You know, hey, before I go to bed, I'll, I'll spend time with him. Next thing you know, is when you start praying, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you're asleep. And you never got a chance. And you start doing this, you start feeding yourself some of this on a daily basis. Next thing you know, is we're not doing that no more. And when the enemy knows, knows. So we need to yeah. stop that. We need to change that. Rely and depend on God daily. Yeah. Not just once in a while. Not like a spirit tire. Don't give him that spirit tire treatment, you know. Right. He's there all the time. Mm -hmm. So God, your words. We talked about this uh, Wednesday. The Wednesday we talked about the power of your words. Because uh -huh. you're speaking them. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're speaking them. Life. Or death and life are in the power of the tongue. The words that you speak. And listen to this. Your life will fill, will be filled with the fruit of the words you speak. Your life. Yes. Not somebody else's. Well, I have to tell them this. Yeah, but it's coming back to you. Just remember this. So if you don't have the word, if you don't have the word in you, and you're not matured in the word, uh, it's still hard to say, <laughs> you know, I have to give them a piece of my mind. Mm. <laughs> I just had to let him know. Mm. Just know Jesus had an opportunity to do all these things, yes. but he didn't. That's right. Amen. And then he mm. kept it because he knew the power of the words. Mm. He says, I speak the word, and it goes out and accomplishes what it says. Well, let, let's go here. Isaiah, we, we talked about this Wednesday also. Just go to Isaiah 55, 11. I like this. Are you there? No. Isaiah 55 11. Okay. 55. 55 11 says, So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my what? Mouth. Mouth. It's going out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, uh, unto me void mm -hmm. but it will accomplish that which I please, and it will, shall prosper uh, in the things whereto I send it. That's it. That's powerful. Yes, it Amen. Is. That's how powerful words are. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he created this whole world speaking the word. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how powerful words are. So we just don't waste words, you know. I think I told you last week that uh, I know all these words, negative words, and I know all these cuss words that I, I thought I was going to, you know, before I grow up to be a man, I had to learn all these cuss <laughs> words, you know. <laughs> And I knew them all, and not only yeah. that, well, I'm not going there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I knew them all, and I still know them, and I can still say them. But I put a card in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say them anymore. Right, amen. Amen. We can, we can all do this. Because the Bible says we can do all things through all Christ. Things. He says, when he says, I can do all things through Christ, it also means I can confess his word daily. Mm -hmm. Why? Because his word says, I can do all things through Christ. It, that's confessing his word also amen he helped us guard your words speak faith your words or speak uh, in your life sounds hard but no excuse just do it it's your choice mm -hmm. and I wrote it like this uh, uh, First uh, Philippians 4 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me this includes my daily confessions I don't want to say them but say them speak yeah. them out speak yeah. them out I mean, our words are carriers and have creative power, death or life. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 18, 20 through 21 says this, and the New Live Version says, A man's stomach will be filled with the fruit of his mouth. Uh -huh. yes. He will be filled with what his lips speak. Mm -hmm. And verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue or your words, and those who love it will eat it's fruit. Mm -hmm. You say them, you're gonna, you're eating them, mm -hmm. and it's gonna yeah. grow in you. Yeah. And we say, well, we gave it to them. No, you're gonna have it. Mm -hmm. 
most of us most words spoken today are negative yeah. that brings death trouble and problems yeah they open the door for the devil to come in mm -hmm. and all its troubles mm -hmm. we're opening the door we're opening the door for the enemy to come yeah. and he's going to bring himself in there yes, until yeah. we tell him to go in jesus name amen Ooh, hallelujah we're bombarded daily by negative media by negative words yeah. tv internet cell phones yeah. <laughs> newspapers yeah. radios people faith uh families friends and co-workers right. oh boy and then again we're tri-beings we're spirit soul and body amen yeah. so the spirit speak the word of god mm -hmm. so renew your mind and the body crucify the, the flesh wants it easy okay they want it easy they want it comfy way romans 12 and 2 says this in the niv new international version says do not do not be or excuse me do not conform to the patterns of this world but be but be transformed by renewing your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will amen so renewing our minds to the things of God. Otherwise, we're just going to copy the patterns and fall into the patterns of this world. And that's, anybody can be that way. The power of faith-filled words will completely change your attitude about the words you speak. You can change your life and your future. Words are like seeds sown, going before us, planting your future. Mm. Amen. But we got to speak the word. Yes. Speak it out. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We just got to say it. And when we say anything, we want to tell somebody something, we let them know right away. Yeah. Man, we didn't even hold our son. Uh, I didn't know you could speak like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't believe that come out of you. Oh, well, I have to tell them. Mm. It's time to share the word of God. We need to speak it out also. Yes. And, not, and, not, and not be ashamed. He said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. That's right. So, you know what's in you, and you know when it comes up in you, mm -hmm. that means speak it out. Yes. Why are you holding it back? Mm. Well, I didn't want to embarrass anybody. Well, you're embarrassing him. Mm. He was telling you, share, share, share. Mm -hmm. And you just zip. That's when we need to zip the lip is when we're saying the negative stuff. Yeah. Right. You right. need to write that down, zip the lip. <laughs> Yep. When troubles comes comes our way again, speak faith-filled words. If we're not speaking faith-filled words, we're speaking fear-filled words. Right. Man. And we do it all the time. And you've heard this so many times. We magnify our problems more than we magnify our God. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the believers now. <laughs> We need to magnify Him. We need to know oh, yeah. that we can come to Him and magnify Him. Say, wait, we need to talk to our problems and let Him know, my God is greater than you. Mm -hmm. Amen? But David went against the giant. He's trying to magnify himself over everything. He said, wait a minute, you don't know my God. And my God is with me. And He never leaves me, nor forsakes me. And I'm going to take you down right now. So whatever's coming against you, you can do this. All you have to do is use the word, confess the word. And bring it, bring those giants down in Jesus' name, Amen. Listen to this. This is this is this is good. People react to trouble in different ways. Mm -hmm. Some grumble, gripe, groan, grieve, or growl. <laughs> Hopefully, believers, we grow. Mm -hmm. They all start with a G. Yes, grumble, yes. gripe, groan, grieve, oh, growl. Or growl. Grow, grow, growl, mm -hmm. or grow. We need to grow. Another word for grow is we mature in the Word of God. How do you mature in the Word of God? You're confessing it. You're reading it. You're studying it. You're meditating on it. And I'm maturing in the things of God. And I'm not going to be a baby Christian all my life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to mature and grow. You know why? What they say about you know climbing up the ladder, new levels new devils mm -hmm. and as you mature you know how to deal with the oh, new yeah. devils amen still use the word of god yes 
Amen. It's nothing new. We're just confessing the word of God. Yes, yes. And you're maturing and growing in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you're saying and doing things you didn't used to do before. And them devils are flying from you. They're fleeing from you. <laughs> I say, uh oh, here comes brother. It's oh. time to go. Oh, here comes sister. Mm. Let's let's go. Man, they, they're running. They're not hanging out anymore. <laughs> so uh, grumble, gripe, groan, read, growl. Grow. We want to grow. We want to grow in the things of God. You mean? <laughs> you get them all? Yeah. You really need this, Patricia. Yeah, you really need this. <laughs> Trouble, will, <laughs> Trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you bitter or leave you better. Yes. Let's let's receive the better. It. It's gonna leave us better. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> God. Hopefully, it will leave you better. And that's us believers. Amen. Yes. We're maturing and we're growing in the things of God. Yes. <laughs> you can live a successful life even in the midst of your troubles. He says, yes. in this world, you have tribulation. Yeah. Yes. And it's all around us. Mm -hmm. But we can have a successful life still in Him. Yes. Amen. So, say there is peace. They say that there is peace in the eye of the storm. Mm. Greatest example, of course, is Jesus. Mm. He meant he was involved in all kinds of storms, but he had peace. Yes. And I've said this so many times also. Don't if you're not prepared and you go out, somebody's gonna bring a storm or no. problems to you. No, Don't let them take you out of your peace. Mm. You bring them into your peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't take their trouble. Don't take their storm. Say, wait a minute. Let me give you the peace I have. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. He is the peace. Amen. Amen. And have peace about yourself, Amen. regardless of what you hear and what you see. Yes. The greater is He that's in me. The peace is in me. Just because storms come your way doesn't mean that you have to take it laying down. Mm -hmm. No more. Or on the run. <laughs> yeah, man, I've got the devil on the run. He's right behind me. <laughs> He's got you on the run. <laughs> You're going to have to put him on the run. <laughs> Don't throw in the towel. Don't quit. So many people right now are quitting. Blowing themselves away. You know, or their families. You hear that so much right now. You know, killing themselves. Killing their whole families, you know. Throw in the towel. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a quitter. That's it. Be a winner. Be an overcomer. Yes. Be more than conquerors. Yes. Great one is in me. I can do all things through him. Know who you are and whose you are. Yes. You know, just have an attitude like David. He knew his God. Mm -hmm. All the soldiers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the army of Israel is awaking and they're afraid of one giant. Mm -hmm. Even the king is just there. He says nobody was talking about God mm -hmm. until David came. Yeah. yeah and the yeah. one reason David came was because Father sent him to bring lunch to his brothers. Mm -hmm. And he came and he, he's getting ticked off, you know, because mm -hmm. they got this giant over there talking about his God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and none of these soldiers are talking about God until David shows up. Mm -hmm. And then he says, wait a minute, <laughs> I'll fight this giant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Saul, King Saul says, uh, well, wait a minute. Why don't you dress like a soldier? Put on my armor. He's a big man. He can't fit his uh, armor. He can't fit his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his uniform. David says, I'll use what God gave me. He's a little shepherd boy. He's got, a, he's, he's got his, uh, his uh, sling. And that's all he needs. And God has given us tools. He's given us talents. Use it unto him, David did, and it worked for him. Yeah. But he knew who's backing him, and he knew who he's, well, he was in God. And we need to do the same thing. Say, wait a minute, yes. you got defeated, Father. I'm not taking this. Amen. I'm going to take you down. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that on a daily basis, you know. Devil, I'm coming. I'm back. <laughs> I'll be back. We cannot escape from encountering troubles in life. But Jesus has given us 
the power and the authority yes, to yes. drive troubles and storms away. Yes. Amen. I'm going to be closing with this. It says, use the power and authority he's given us. You're not going to know these things mm -hmm. unless you open his word mm -hmm. and get in the word and yeah. find out what it is. Yeah. Right. And when yeah. you get it, you're going to start using it because mm -hmm. you have to speak it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to speak it out over and over and over. You cannot pre uh, listen. <laughs> this is very simple. He gave us this example. You cannot prevent the birds of trouble or of cares mm -hmm. from flying over your head, but you can stop them from building a nest on your head mm -hmm. in, your, in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't, this yeah. don't have to happen. So stop running from your troubles and storms and worries and cares and take a stand and confess the word. The truth is going to set you free. Yes, it will. It's going to set you free when you start speaking it. Remember, in closing this, there's power in the words. There's power in the words that you speak. Amen. So, and he told us to speak the word, not to be silent about it. Correct. Amen. So, whew, hallelujah. This, uh, maybe next week we'll do part two, but we're going to stop right there. Amen. Praise God. Here's a good prayer I want to share with you. And you can uh, write this down. Psalms 139, 23, and 24. Psalms 139, 23, and 24 says this. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. 24 yeah. says... And see if there be any wicked in me. Right. And lead me in the way everlasting. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh man. Wow. Hallelujah. I'm gonna well that's that's for next week. So in closing. Amen. <laughs> amen. May I just most, most statements I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> what to do when the troubles come. Oh boy. Spend time with him. Yes. Matthew 6 33. Seek him first. Meditate upon the God's presence. Renew your mind with the word of God. Believe God's promises. Believe his word. What he gives us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get rid of that excess baggages. Time wasters. No. Dream busters, oh, yeah. vision busters. They'll oh, come yeah. all the time and they'll try to drag you away. Remember, a full time devil, he's going to send people your way. Mm. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go have a few. Mm. They're going to try to pull you mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So get rid of uh, excess baggage. Yes. Whatever that may be, you know, mm -hmm. I don't, but he knows. Mm -hmm. Whatever is distracting you, whatever is pulling you down, whatever you need to get rid of. Yes. Guard your words. This is zip the lip. Don't say it anymore. Yeah. Practice that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, pray for Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> Guard your words. Faith-filled words only. Not fear-filled words, but faith-filled words. <laughs> and this is the thing. Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God. Not just part of it. And don't take it off. You keep it on all the time. Amen. Because the enemy is not going to stop. He's yes. going to keep coming and coming. That's it. And he's, he's going to press on. We need to press on with him mm -hmm. with a full armor on at all times. Amen. All right. God is our refuge and our strength. Yes, he is. And ever present help in trouble. Yes. Hide in him. Mm -hmm. Believe in him. Depend on him. Remember what he has done. Mm -hmm. Be still before him and acknowledge his power in your life. And circumstances. Yeah. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. Yeah. So praise God that you receive. Yes. That yeah. you learn something. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Those of you watching, those of you listening, it's time to stop running. You know, mm -hmm. it's time 
to start confessing what the Word of God says. Yeah, First of yeah, all, yeah. receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And uh, just say, hey, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. And it's time to make a change, confess the right things, and start living for Him. Amen. Get in a Bible-based church where you can go and learn the Word of God and get you a Bible and start reading it and meditating on it and yes. studying it. Amen. And as you do, you're going to mature in, in the things of God. And you're going to start growing and confessing the right things. Amen. So Amen. let's remember that. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, I put my hands on myself. He says, lay hands on the sick and it shall recover. And I say, sickness, go in Jesus' name. I don't Amen. receive it. By his stripes, I am healed. Any malfunctions in this body, I, I cancel in Jesus' name. I speak to every part of my body, every organ, every tissue, every muscle to function the way he created it to function Amen. in Jesus' name. So, body, I speak to you, and I receive it in Jesus' name. So, I speak for you. Praise God. Amen. And it's time to give. Those that are watching and listening, uh, our screen should have the uh, our website, uh, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marco, Texas, 79843. And uh, if you're doing cash app, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, shut your hands this way. Let's release our faith. Father, we just thank you for the gift and the givers, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Walk